welcome back to my channel again and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to it yo i am mara's fans are making me feel like i am in nyabo anse like yo anyway myself i really wanted to go to i wish i was there i wish i went to the party mara's party in nyabo anse kenya but i couldn't go because um as you all know i have a baby and it's only eight months so i was advised at least uh not to travel with him till he finishes his shots like uh at least his first shots i don't know when he's gonna finish but i'm still gonna go to africa but not any like not tomorrow or t the day after like um i'm gonna wait a little bit but i'm still going anyway but i feel like i'm still i'm in your balance you know what i even told my brother my brother is in kenya i was like damn i really want to go to you i want to meet i amara because yo i love i amara videos i've been watching those his videos since uh a few years ago i don't remember ex exactly so i love his videos because his videos i can relate i can relate like uh his village is almost like mine his their life has they struggled is almost like mine i was born in the village so when i see the green there like how their a village is that's how my village is too and um when you see the uh the bananas you know you see the uh, the bananas you see the farmers the corn the maize there it's almost like in my village but here in america of course it's green but it's just a, diff a different vibe when you look the green in Africa and the green here is totally I mean I can say um let me show you guys outside right now how it looks anyway uh this is winter so you can see the trees are drying uh during summertime or springtime it gets uh greener uh but still the green is definitely not the same as home because home you can see shambas i mean shambas land you know and you can see um the things that we plant uh like vegetables uh as i say the corn actually the corn in kenya and the corn here is totally different so that's what i'm trying to say uh so the vibe um i like watching the videos it just reminds me back home so yeah, I do like watching their videos just to relate because uh, I live in the US and they usually make videos in the village so they make me feel like I'm at home. So um, the last, uh, there's this video he shared his first day, the party started um, uh, when I was looking at it and the house, like I was like, wow, I felt like that was my brother, you know, I was happy for him. So I decided to make the video about it here on YouTube and I shared and his subscribers like they watched my video and then they were like oh we are tomorrow we like i'm subscribing to your channel this i had actually i got a lot of subscribers from i am Mara's team he doesn't even know that i'm making videos about him or his village but his subscribers watched my video and then they decided to subscribe to my channel i'm like what oh my god they made me feel special now i feel like i really want to go home like hopefully when i go home i amara will still be in yambo hansi and i'll be able to make some videos with him but even if he's not gonna be there i'm still gonna go there i will make videos with and my yukuno congrats man there's so many other villagers uh i can make uh youtube video uh youtube videos with so yeah i like i like watching the videos for me i really love the vibe in nyabuhansi i love the way like the we having they having a lot of youtubers from everywhere going there doing collaborations supporting marwa like uh, helping each other to grow their youtube you know that's positive vibes right i know there's some other negative people are still gonna talk negative things which that's them if they want to do it i can't stop them like <laughs> that's their channel but can we all try to avoid uh talking um, about congrats mom can you imagine if that was your mom 
can you imagine if that's your mom like the things the negative things i see people talking about that mother seriously guys let's avoid talking about congrats mom if you don't like something about um i am mara his brother his sister then just deal with them avoid talking about their mother for real though for real for real let's be positive let's enjoy um some some of them they go live if you want to go watch and see live live whatever they're doing partying dancing at night go ahead watch if you want to uh, watch during the day go ahead and watch i really don't understand why people want them to change to change for the media to change for for youtube why like for them they're trying to show us the real life in the village like um because i remember there was a video d mango man remember i just told you guys i watched the videos the brother the sister i watch all the videos so there's this video uh, uh d mango made she was cooking in the village and then there were some people who were talking negative about it like they were saying oh she's not a clean person she's not there or oh, why would they uh why are they using that um the water from the river why can't they just uh whatever you know negative things for me if you're from the village you will understand like you will you will understand that's what we do in the village like when i live here soon when i go back in my village i'm gonna show you guys how where we go to fetch water exactly exactly what they do what they show you guys that's what that's what happens in the village we go far actually for them they are even lucky as we go far we fetch water and we carry on our head we come home we don't even boil water and then we use the water to drink to cook to do everything so for them they're trying to show you guys the real life in the village and there's some other people who are there trying to, trying to say some negative things about it i'm like guys let villagers enjoy they are proud they are proud that they are from the village so myself actually when i was when i was younger i never wanted to live in the village i used to pray that one day god will help me to move away from the village why because every day we used to eat ugali and skuma ugali and skuma ugali and skuma nyama which is meat in, uh which is meat we used to eat it like on special occasions for the for the village we understand we used to eat once in a while especially christmas christmas time that's when we used to enjoy we could uh, our parents could buy us some new clothes you know some 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 good meals only special occasions so um so i never wanted to i really never wanted to live in the village i used to pray for myself to one day to just have a better job and leave the village Thank God I was able to move from the village. But here's the thing though. I'm not done yet. Listen. So when I moved here, I was like, yo, my life is about to change. So I started like eating like a lot of fried food, some burgers, some, you know. I mean, that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse because there are some people who live here and they eat the same food and they're still looking good. But for me, I was too comfortable. There is water here. I didn't have to walk to go fetch water i didn't have to go far to find firewood like everything is just here i have a car to drive to work to anywhere that i want you know i gained a lot of weight i'm not gonna blame america for gaining weight i blame it on me because of uh, getting too comfortable but it really made me appreciate my life back in the village it really made me uh, think like no hey the food that i used to eat back home was really good for me so i usually when i go to the village when i go back home i even end up uh getting the vegetables um we dry it like we get it we dry it and then when we bring it here we boil it and put it in the freezer and we use it so me living here it has really made me appreciate the life back home i can't say anything negative about america i love america that's why i am here i'm a citizen here and i'm still a citizen back home so my um my plan is is to have like a a home back home because home will always be home and have a home here because i have a family here so anyway 
guys let's keep the positive energy and if you agree it's all about positivity don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys and i think i'm going to uh keep sharing um the videos from uh i am maras for the village i know if you guys you could still go watch his videos that's fine but if i like something from there i'm still gonna bring it here and share it with you guys the way people have been watching the videos and uh, putting those likes and putting the comments have uh, really made me feel like maybe i should do some positive reaction about Nyabuhanse for now till I go home because my plan is to go back home and show you guys how my village is and I'll show you guys how uh, we live in the village. I cannot do that but for now for those people who are trying to make it please don't let anybody pull you down be strong be strong you see why i am Mara is where he is right now is because he's strong and he doesn't listen to his haters i want you guys to listen to this video actually i love this sound i love using these sounds because they make me strong i say when you see people talking about you don't worry it means you are at the top when you become the top you become the topic when you are the head you become the headlines so don't worry about what people are saying anyway guys thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time